Hey guys, welcome back to another Default Cube CG Matter tutorial, and today we are doing part 3 of Grease Pencil, but uh, before I continue, I just need to apologize because in the last tutorial I lied to you. I said that we'd start, you know, doing some animations, maybe a ball rolling or bouncing or whatever, um, but uh, that is not the case because I need to squeeze in one or maybe two more tutorials before uh, we get into, you know, making some cool animations. And for this one, I just want to address uh, kind of the elephant in the room here, and that is the difference between using a mouse. So right now I'm using my mouse, a computer mouse, not a rodent, and uh, the tablet. So here I'm using a tablet. So instead of uh, using my mouse, I'm actually using a pen. And just to show you what I'm talking about, I'm sure you already do know. But uh, I'm basically using this tablet and using this digital pen to draw. So it's kind of a more manual approach as opposed to, I guess, also manual approach for the mouse. Maybe wasn't the best word to use there. But uh, let me go full screen. But uh, there is a important uh, distinction between these two. And just in case you are using a tablet, I want to make sure you know about this. <laughs> Uh, before we continue with the tutorials, but for my mouse people, uh, no issue. You can keep drawing with the mouse for future tutorials. It's just going to be a bit janky unless you're better than me. So uh, what I need to address is actually two things. One of them is here and one of them is here. So these two buttons next to radius and strength. And before we get to that, recall that strength is basically, right now I'm using my mouse by the way, uh, strength is basically the darkness of our stroke. So here we have full darkness, uh, which we can also control with the hotkey shift F. So let's make that like 50, 46-ish percent strength, which is going to be gray. And then if we go even lower, it's going to be very close to white, barely uh, perceptible. Okay, cool. And then radius is the size of our stroke. So big radius, big stroke, small radius, small stroke. Let me make that even smaller. Fine. But uh, next to these, you see that we have use pressure for radius and a button for use pressure for strength and uh, pressure refers to tablet pressure meaning i can press down on my tablet with my pen uh, at different intensities to create different types of strokes so for example i'm going to disable it here meaning our tablet is not going to have a kind of multiplier here but i'm going to keep it enabled for radius so right now i'm using my mouse and every single stroke looks like this i can't do anything about that unless i want to change the radius so I have no control over this, but if I use my tablet, you can see I can go for very thin lines, which I'm not doing a very good job of. You gotta be very light on the tablet. And then if I push harder, it's gonna be thicker. If I push the hardest, I guess that already was the hardest. But um, this means that we don't need to you know, switch every single time. But more importantly, more importantly, and this is only uh, possible with a tablet, we can start off thin and then make it thicker as we go. Right, and we can simulate this using a mouse using like random, uh, what was it called? It was called randomize, randomize over here. But um, you can't really mimic uh, this kind of pressure thing. So basically this is what this button lets you do. If I disable it, now I'm using the tablet, it's all the same. I enable it and now it's actually respecting or accounting for tablet pressure. And of course we can do the same thing for strength, meaning that if I go very lightly, not only will it be thin, but it will also be very faint, right? Because both of these are being accounted for. If I go very hard, it's going to be very, you know, large or uh, thick in terms of radius. By the way, it's so much nicer to circle with a pen with a mouse. It's kind of janky, but look at that. Um, it's thicker and uh, darker, which means we can also kind of make a gradient here. I'm not doing the best job, but this kind of looks like watercolor here. So you can see it starts off very thin and uh, light and goes to dark and uh, thick. And of course, we can have radius be consistent. So uh, now our radius is consistent, but we're changing the intensity, which looks a bit weird. So usually you keep either both of these on or only radius in my experience. And of course, um, these buttons here kind of also exist outside of Grease Pencil and potentially in uh, different areas of Grease Pencil. So whenever you see this, uh, that's what it means. And by the way, um, if you're like, okay, how does this pressure affect it? Is it like if I press half as hard, it's half as faint? You know, is it just like a linear fall off? Well, it could be, or you can actually control the sensitivity of these curves. So um, if I kind of make all of these kind of like one over X curves, we'll see if that affects it. Now it's kind of very hard to, let me do a faint stroke. Yeah, this is me pressing the lightest. It's very hard because now we have a fall off where, you know, it's working very differently. Basically, what I'm trying to say is this light to dark to light 
is going to look differently depending on our curve. And I, hopefully we can just hit undo to get rid of that. Don't know if that's the case. Maybe that's baked in. Make that linear again. Of course, we can reset in these options. There's a reset curve, but uh, this is fine. So, um, yeah, that's the thing you need to know about uh, tablets. I know, I know we're still not uh, talking about animation, but it is important. And for the people watching this video being like, okay, I'm convinced. I can't draw without a tablet, right? Like there's uh, this uh, variable pressure and variable strength. Can't go with that. That you're like, okay, CG matter, default cube, uh, make me a recommendation. And to that, I say uh, no uh, until I get sponsored. But uh, this is a Huon. I think that's what it's called. It's not a Wacom. That's what everybody recommends. Um, I don't really care. It's a tablet. It works. That, that's the deal. But anyways, um, I think now you understand uh, what's going on here. And one more thing to note, um, most uh, tablets on the pen have two buttons. So for me, I have right click uh, mapped so I can quickly change the radius as I'm uh, going, you know, also for erasing and all this. And that, you know, that's uh, kind of convenient, I guess. And the other one is I have a undo button for when I keep messing up the stroke over and over and over again. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was kind of, you know, it wasn't exactly what you were expecting, but we will get to animation. Hopefully, I won't squeeze one more tutorial in between, but we'll see. But anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching this free tutorial. If you want to support these and keep them funded, the best way to do that is via Patreon, and that is considered a donation in my eyes, although you do get some private access to things and some bonus features. You can go uh, read about it over there if you care, but thank you to anybody who has the means and wants to donate on Patreon. Otherwise, or not otherwise, I guess uh, the last thing I have to say is uh, thank you for watching this free tutorial. And um, you know what? <laughs> this is the best grease pencil series on YouTube because there aren't very many. And I'm being very slow and thorough, which I think is what people need. Um, there you go. Uh, thank you. And what I'm doing right now would be impossible. Would be impossible with the mouse. <laughs> thank you. And here's with the mouse for... See, this is why you need a tablet. For... I wonder if we can write off for watching. And the, the fact that this doesn't look perfect just means my handwriting is bad. You know, I'm still not coordinated with this. It's still new to me. Thanks for watching.